committee. That was very close to what actually happened, Laura. I'm proud of you. Uh, I, I was, I do remember vividly standing on the street and I was introducing or getting ready to introduce the yeah, bands and all that that walked by. And I saw her out there with a tin can. And I didn't know what she was doing. But you know, we have a lot of people begging for stuff nowadays. And, and I saw her and I said, Laura, come on over here. I want to know what you're doing. So I interviewed her on the air. And I said, you know, what are you doing? She told me I'm raising money for the Veterans Memorial. God bless her. Go, going through the crowd. And she looked at me and she says, how about if you get involved, Tom? And I said, uh, 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 okay, you could be our fundraising chairman. <laughs> And I immediately walked over after the parade and talked to Dick, and I said, you're the co-chairman of the fundraising committee. He says, absolutely, we'll do it. And, and uh, that was kind of the start of everything, and uh, I'll never forget that. Um, I would like at this time, I'm jumping around because I know the rain's threatening here, but I'd like to Forgive me, but I'm going to read this little paragraph here, and then I'm going to introduce people that, in our opinion, have been a part of this project, a part of making it happen. We have done over the years, we've introduced a person or two or whatever, but we've never collectively honored the group that made it happen. Some are with us, some are not. And we, we thought it a, a great time to do that, and I've uh, put a a collage of people's names together and I wish please when we mention your name please come up I'd like for you to stand behind us because our intent we have Danny Harris from the state capitol a friend of mine professional photographer and Danny's going to take a picture of everybody which I think would be kind of neat to have so Danny I appreciate you okay I'm going to start the list now Don Wood and I know Don's Don, just take your time. I'm going to read through it. And Laura Wood, you can help Don up there. Morse Cash, who has passed away. Dick Holden. And Dick was extremely, I hate to use the word monumental, but uh, Dick and Morris worked hand in hand doing the concept. And of course, Dick. Uh, had a pretty good end with Hot Springs Monument, and they put the deal together, what you see now, and did a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, Dick Antoine, myself, Ken Wheatley, these are in no order, by the way, Rodney Tillman, Art Wellinger, Larry Stone, Steve Smith, Gene Sexton, Bill Sexton, Joe Sanders, Nan Merchant, Sharon Kelsey, Fred Kelsey, and Fred was the former uh, treasurer on the committee for years, Ron Kelsey, Ken Johnson, Lloyd Greenway, Larry Frazier, Bob Frager, Richard Ennis, Glenn W. Bill Crone, Bill Cox, Gary Burgess, Len Buck, Tim Andy Anderson, Bill Barnes, Donnie Golden, Pam Hill, A.J. Simpson, <coughs> B.G. Carone, Ben Blankenship, Karen Blankenship, Bill Bucklew, Don Castle, Don Newton, Harry Davis, Jackie Davis, Jim Sheeler, Joe West Taylor Davis, Joanne Kurtzlake, Joe Sanders, John Huffle, Dr. Kelly Jennings, Mendy Thresher, Mike Sharp, Steve Carpenter, Tom Burns, Walt Thresher, Walt Waters, Tom Daniel, Josie Fernandez, General Tom Arwood, Terry Smith, Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffith, Terry Davis, Ralph King. 
There are also names of people that have done in-kind things for to make this place happen back here. Uh, Brooks Clement Peters Paints, Larry and Janice Brown, the City Hot Springs, uh, Robert Campea, Hot Springs uh, Convention Center and AMP Commission, Hot Springs Fire Department, James Madison. There was multitude of singers and band members uh, that were also involved in, in all the activities we've had over the years. LifeNet, Bennett Stone Company, Tri Lakes Ornamental Iron, which is some of the stuff you see over my head here, Roger Carter, Hot Springs Schools, <coughs> Cutter Morning Star Schools, Lakeside Schools, Lake Hamilton Schools, Hot Springs Sentinel Record, Mr. Mark Gregory, Fountain Lake Schools, Hot Springs Monument, Order of the Purple Heart, John Barron, Hot Springs Fire Department, Hot Springs Police Department, BFW Auxiliary and Volunteers, BFW Honor Guard, Ross Rumor, our trumpeter, Stephanie Highfield, Hot Springs Village Voice, KDRE, Radio Tom Nichols, KZNG Radio, former Mayor Ruth Carney, current Mayor Pat McCabe, all our legislative delegation. Please, I know there's a lot of you. I don't know who's here, but uh, I know Bruce, I think I saw Bruce Cozart here. Where are you at, Bruce? Come on up, come on up. Please come up if I read your name. Les Warren, Ellen Clark, Mickey Gates, Senator Tom Cotton, Congressman Bruce Westerman, um, Butch Martin, who's a contractor, original contractor, and I apologize, there are about three or four names on a paper over here of other people that donated services that I did not uh, get on my list here. Uh, the county judge, current, and I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. where's he at? Daryl, come on. Yeah. <laughs> this mic's hot, Joe, so he's, yeah. If I have missed any names in this, it wasn't done on purpose, and I invite you to please come up and be part of this picture. This probably isn't going to happen again. So if you kindly would come up and Danny will take a picture of all of us, I certainly, certainly would appreciate it. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing that I, I didn't mean to admit, but I appreciate you saying so. Ten years ago, a little bit over ten years ago, uh, Dick and I went out to Cutter Morning Star Elementary School. And who was principal back in those days? <coughs> Miss Anderson, yes. She looked a lot different then. Now you're like, what are you now? Superintendent. Superintendent, okay, we'll be nice to her. Okay, go, go stand over there. And anywhere, I invited her, we went back and I invited her to get what was then the fourth graders, that this is partial part of the class. Come on, come on guys, you can parade out here for a second so they can see, because this is important. We talk about, you know, a lot of us are getting older, and the younger generation, we don't see a lot of young people out here, except for the ones that we coerced into coming. And I, I want to pay special recognition. Y'all come, just come out here for a second. These young men and women raise, uh, we came up with a slogan called, it just makes sense. And it made sense when, when we came up with it. But we didn't realize that somebody, this group here, was going to go out and raise over $3,000 in pennies. Yeah. Okay, and there was actually a sixth grader involved in that too. And, and she let me know, and I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. But I think I thought it was so neat for them to come back and be part of this 
uh, 10th anniversary. Ms. Anderson, we appreciate you very much. And thank, thank you all for being here. And uh, Pam Jackson's around somewhere too. I'm not sure where she's at, but Pam, you're welcome to come up here. So anyway, um, uh, Robert, I don't know where, where my sound man is. Okay, could you kill this mic so it doesn't feed back here? For just a second. My problems. <laughs> Taking pictures. Thank you all so, oh so much. All these folks had something to do with.